Little Fairies Rose's Rainbow by Sam Walshaw It was raining in the garden. The fairies loved the rain. It was lots of fun. Let's put our wellies on and splash in the puddles, smiled Rose. Sounds great, agreed Poppy and Ivy. Dressed in their waterproofs, the fairies set off to find silly, soggy things to do. They flew round and round the teeming garden, splashed in the puddles and slid down the wet leaves. They were having a great time, but the rain started to get heavier and heavier. The sky went dark and big puddles began to form on the ground. We had better go home until it stopped raining, said Poppy. Good idea, agreed Rose and Ivy. Let's go. But on the way back, they noticed the garden insects were in trouble. This heavy rain was flooding their homes. Oh no, wailed Ivy. Whatever shall we do? Don't panic, said Rose. While I help all the little garden animals to safety, I'd like you two to collect a petal from every flower in the garden. But why, Rose? asked Ivy. Never mind that now, said Rose. You'll soon see. So off they went round the garden, collecting just one bright petal from each different coloured flower. Meanwhile, Rose got all the little insects safely to higher ground, just before the garden was completely flooded. Phew! Ivy and Poppy soon came back. Here are all the petals, Rose. What happens now? Rose took the petals and made them into a fantastic multicoloured flower. She fixed it to her wand. Then Rose flew high up into the air. She stood on top of the highest flower in the garden and began to murmur a magic spell. Mother Nature, hear our cry. Paint a rainbow in the sky. Drive away this horrid rain and let us see the sun again. Then Rose flew even higher, clutching her magic flower. She climbed so high the other fairies could hardly see her. Suddenly, something amazing started to happen. As Rose glided slowly back down to the garden, a beautiful, sparkling rainbow started to appear. Rose's flower was painting it onto the grey sky. As the rainbow got longer, the rain began to stop and the sky brightened. When Rose touched down in the garden, the sun was shining again, making the rainbow glisten like jewels. By this time, all the garden insects had seen what Rose was doing. Wow, they chirped. That is so beautiful, Rose. You clever thing. The garden immediately began to dry out in the warmth of the sun, and the garden insects could return to their homes. The insects were very grateful. Thank you, Rose, they chorused. The rain was fun, mused Rose. But can you guess what would be even more fun? No, we can't. Tell us, demanded Ivy and Poppy excitedly. So Rose took everyone to the top of the rainbow, and they all slid down it all the way to the bottom. 